Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K Ultra HD Steelbook Edition of Army of Darkness. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Okay, Army of Darkness is here on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Shout Factory Screen Factory. It comes in a slipcover edition and a non-exclusive steelbook, both readily available at your online retailers. Now, when it comes to the film itself, I absolutely love this movie. Of course, I am a huge Sam Raimi fan, and this is also one of those films that I remember the exact theater I saw it in, uh, the time of day, and my impressions were very long-lasting after watching it, and I've, I've seen this movie many times since. I owned the physical copy way back uh, from the original Laserdisc to all the way now in the 4K, so yeah, I could, I could honestly say I love the film, and I just, I go back to it quite frequently. Of course, Bruce Campbell as Ash, iconic, reluctant hero. Well, yeah, but it's just, he's awesome. He really is. He embraced the role, and he still embraces the role even today. And, you know, of course, it's totally different than Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, but I think really it works. Of course, it is the same director who did all three of those movies, so, of course, you can, you know, that transition is going to work. His style behind the camera is amazing. I love the film. I was just so happy that Shop Factory announced a 4K release was coming. It is a shame that it's only in the theatrical version in 4K. The uh, other cuts are just Blu-ray standard, but you know what? I'll take it. I, I love, and also speaking to the uh, the other cut, I do like it, but I actually at the end of the day prefer the theatrical. I think some of the lines are missing that are iconic. Uh, in the other cut. So, yeah, I, I still like going back to it, but I would have liked to have that option in 4K. All right, we're going to talk about the picture quality and the audio in just a moment, but first, let's do a quick unboxing of the Steelbook. Okay, we have the non-exclusive 4K Steelbook edition of Army of Darkness from Shop Factory Screen Factory. I really like the artwork. The Steelbook itself has a nice shine to it. I think it looks pretty sharp. Uh, well, Slipcover edition is very nice also, but this is definitely my preferred way to own it. And then we have the back. And the spine. And interior, we have the various cuts of the film, starting with the 4K disc. And then the theatrical of the Blu-ray. And then of course we have the other cuts. So yeah, I think really this is this is solid packaging. One of my favorites from uh, 2022, definitely. Now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. Army of Darkness on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has a 25 by 1 aspect ratio with native 4K resolution and is graded with both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. For purposes of this review, I will be discussing the Dolby Vision encode. The movie was given a 4K restoration based off the original camera negative and I think generally it looks really good. There are some minor dirt or camera smudges I spotted, mostly within the first 10 minutes of the film, but it's nothing too concerning. Film grain is light in density with no apparent DNR or post-processing applied. Generally, the 4K presents a noticeably sharper image, minus a few special effect shots, secondary scenes, which considering when this was made isn't too surprising. This particular shot when the camera looks up from the medieval pit was the most blurry example I could find. I don't recall in previous home editions it looking this way, but on the new 4K, it definitely stands out. Textures look more pronounced, especially with those famous Raimi close-ups. Sweat, dirt, and grime, facial hair have more depth. Close-ups of Evil Ash and the other Deadites look even more gruesome with the added resolution. Black levels are pretty solid all around. No concerns of elevation here. Shadow detail is rendered very well with no signs of black crush. Colors look bolder, with red and yellow showcased nicely with Dolby Vision. Whether it's blood or medieval costuming, I found the enhancements in this area particularly strong. Day scenes look excellent, which are boosted with the grading. Army of Darkness on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a DTS 5.1 audio mix. I've said for years that the movie definitely needed an upgrade in the audio department, and unfortunately we don't get one here. I remember early in my home theater days that I was somewhat impressed with the audio track, especially with 5.1 setup being more of the norm, but now when a lot of people are rocking Atmos, it just feels a little bit dated here. 
Whenever Ash uses his boomstick, it doesn't hit as hard as I feel it used to. There generally isn't too much to move the needle on the sub, which is a bit of a shame. Much of the film's audio is purely focused up front, but there are some occasional ambience or music that bleeds through the rears. Dialogue is crisp and clear with no issues to report. I'm not saying at all that Army of Darkness has a bad 5.1, far from it, but I feel that an upgrade would have really put this one over. For the picture quality, I'm going to give Army of Darkness on 4K, Ultra HD Blu-ray, an A-. Arguably, this movie will never look better on a home format. The grading really highlights the overall color palette, black levels are excellent, and the 4K resolution really shows off the extra bit of details. The fans of the film, I think, will definitely enjoy this presentation. For the audio mix, I'm going to score this one a B. Army of Darkness is a goofy, fun movie that I feel deserved a little bit better in the audio department. If you have the previous Blu-ray, this will hold no surprises for you, but it's still an enjoyable experience. So that is my review of Army of Darkness on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave an Amazon link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the disc already, let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.